Amanitar phalloids, also known as the death cap mushroom, is a highly toxic mycorrhizal fungus. Here are the key details. Appearance. Cap, a flat, yellow-green to olive-green cap. Gills, white gills under the cap. Stem, white stem with a ring and a bulbous base, vulva. Toxicity, deadly, it's the most lethal mushroom for humans. Liver and kidney damage, contains toxins, amatoxins, that damage the liver and kidneys. Slow onset, symptoms appear gradually, making it hard to identify the source of poisoning. Common names, death cap, green death cap, death cap mushroom, also known as Orangia verde, Canalija, and Cicita verde in Spanish. Distribution. Originally from Europe, it has spread globally over the last century. Found in the United States, Canada, Australia, and other regions. Fatal cases. Responsible for 90% of annual mushroom-related deaths. Notoriously difficult to distinguish from edible mushrooms. Remember, avoid collecting wild mushrooms unless you're an expert, as misidentification can be deadly. Amanitar phalloids commonly known as the death cap, is a deadly poisonous basidiumized fungus. Let's delve into its chemical composition, toxins. Amatoxins, these toxins consist of at least eight compounds with a similar structure, characterized by eight amino acid rings. They were isolated in 1941 by Heinrich O. Wieland and Cell death. Reduced transcription levels due to ANAP2 inhibition lead to cellular dysfunction. Ultimately, this disruption results in organ damage, particularly affecting the liver 3. In summary, amanitin's interference with RNA transcription machinery is a critical factor in its litholite. Amanitar phalloids, commonly known as the death cap, follows a fascinating life cycle. Let's explore it in detail, basidiocarp formation. The life cycle begins when two fungi of opposite mating types come together. They undergo plasmogamy, where their hyphae walls fuse, allowing them to coexist. This fusion gives rise to the basidiocarp, which is the familiar mushroom structure. Gills and basidia. The basidiocarp forms gills on its underside. In the death cap's case, the gills are not attached to the cap. These gills are lined with basidia. Karyogamy and spore formation, the basidia undergo karyogamy, fusing two fungal nuclei into one. Meiosis then occurs, forming the basidium containing basidia spores. Basidia spores are dispersed into the air and carried by forest creatures, spreading the fungus to new areas. Remember, the death cap's life cycle involves intricate interactions, leading to the formation of its toxic fruiting bodies. Amanitar phalloids, like other mushroom-forming fungi, is influenced by various environmental factors during its fruiting body formation. Let's explore some of these factors, light. Light plays a crucial role in hyphal aggregation and fruiting body maturation. For example, in oyster mushrooms, light is essential for both the normal expansion of the cap, pilus, and spore formation 1. Temperature. Optimal temperature ranges are necessary for successful fruiting body development. Different species have specific temperature preferences. Humidity. Adequate humidity levels are essential for maintaining turgor pressure in fungal tissues. High humidity promotes spore production and prevents desiccation. pH. Fungal mycelium and fruiting bodies thrive within specific pH ranges. Soil acidity affects nutrient availability and overall growth. Ventilation. Proper air exchange ensures oxygen supply and removal of metabolic waste. Stagnant air can hinder fruiting body development. Remember that the interplay of these factors contributes to the successful formation of Amanitar phalloids fruiting bodies. Amanitar phalloids, commonly known as the death cap, exhibits remarkable adaptability to diverse environmental conditions. Here are some key aspects of its adaptation, wide range of habitats. 
Amanita mushrooms can thrive in various environments, including tropical rainforests, temperate forests, and even arctic tundras. 1. Their ability to grow across different climates and soil types contributes to their widespread distribution. Environmental influences. Factors such as temperature, soil type, altitude, and climate play a role in shaping their growth and distribution. Their adaptability allows them to persist in changing ecosystems. Chemical synthesis. Amanita species, like many fungi, excel at chemical synthesis. They produce an array of small molecules with intricate structures, which may serve as protectants or attractants in their interactions with other organisms too. In summary, Amanita phalloid's adaptability enables it to survive and thrive in various ecological niches, making it a fascinating example of natural resilience. Amanita phalloids, commonly known as the death cap, engages in various interactions with other organisms. Let's explore these aspects, mycorrhizal relationship, the death cap forms a mutualistic mycorrhizal relationship with trees of various species. In this symbiotic association, the fungus exchanges nutrients with the tree roots. The tree provides the fungus with carbohydrates, while the fungus enhances the tree's nutrient uptake. Toxic qualities, although not a direct relationship, the death cap's poisonous qualities affect all organisms. Its production of amatoxins makes it one of the most lethal fungi worldwide. Animals and humans must avoid consuming it to prevent poisoning. Global distribution, the death cap is found across various regions, including Europe, North America, and parts of North Africa. Its adaptability allows it to thrive in different ecosystems. In summary, the death cap's mycorrhizal interactions and toxic properties play significant roles in its ecological context. Amanita phalloids, also known as the death cap, has significant ecological consequences when it comes to mushroom poisoning. Let's explore some of these effects, impact on biodiversity. Amanita phalloids is responsible for a majority of mushroom-related deaths worldwide. 1. Its toxic alkaloids, particularly amatoxins, cause cell injury by halting protein synthesis. The death cap's presence can disrupt local ecosystems by affecting other organisms that interact with it. Indirect effects. As a mycorrhizal fungus, Amanita phalloids form symbiotic relationships with trees. When these fungi are poisoned or die, it can impact the health of associated trees and affect nutrient cycling. Human impact. The death cap's resemblance to edible mushrooms increases the risk of accidental poisoning. Local communities, especially indigenous groups, may be at risk if the distribution of Amanita phalloids expands too. In summary, the death cap's toxicity reverberates through ecosystems, affecting both organisms and human communities. The Amanita phalloids, commonly known as the death cap, was first discovered in the 1970s in the area north of Rochester, New York. It was found growing under Norway spruce trees that had been imported as nursery stock decades earlier. Since then, it has been increasingly found under native oaks in the New York area 1. This infamous mushroom, responsible for 90% of annual mushroom-related deaths, has spread globally, including regions like Australia, New Zealand, and North America. Its rapid expansion and impact on ecosystems continue to be subjects of investigation. That was all, goodbye.